Welcome to Chicken and Life. I'm Adrienne, the turquoise lady, and today I'm going to talk to you about stress. And I have my emotional support dinosaur because I have lost count of how many times I have reshot this video and it's gone very badly. So I'm going to lighten it up, lighten it up, lighten it up. Okay. So um, today I wanted to talk about stress management. And if you're listening to this video, you're probably stressed, whether you intended to watch it because of that or just because. Life is stressful. You can't be alive and not have some stress, right? So, one of the first things, well, okay, one of the many things that I read when I was looking this up was that a little stress was good for us. And when I first read that, I was like, what? That's bad. <laughs> like, I don't understand. When I hear stress, I think bad things. But actually, it um, teaches us how to deal with stress because again you can't get away with it get away from it if you're alive right um, and it helps us be more resilient when we learn how to manage our stress and cope with stress okay um, the problem with stress is short term it can drive our blood pressure up our our cholesterol up our blood sugars up so therefore our diabetes can be less well controlled it can cause weight gain which that's super frustrating because I've definitely had people that came to me and they were really looking to lose about 20 pounds and feel better but then I identified that they had so much stress in their lives that it and so like no time for themselves that it was really a huge bar barrier to that because it can make it difficult to lose weight, but it can also really make you gain weight. Um, so then, of course, these things long term can increase your risk of heart attack, stroke, and some types of cancers. So it's very important that we get stress under control. And I, what I'm really talking about is that chronic stress that we have in our lives, but no matter what. I mean, even if it's just something that's going on for a short period of time, some methods of managing that can be super, super helpful, okay? It's just part of nurturing ourselves, taking care of ourselves, being as healthy as we can possibly be. So some signs of stress are tenseness. So usually in our shoulder, um, in our chest, in our backs, stomachs, and in our heads, tension headaches, right? We may have stomach issues. So anybody can have like diarrhea, constipation because of stress, nausea, and in extreme cases, vomiting. I have had some folks that have that, and during my practice I've seen that. Um, but that, it's especially... We're especially sensitive if we have irritable bowel syndrome, IBS. So that's one that really can be triggered by stress going on, either temporary or long-term stress. Either way, it can totally jack up our gut. Um, and it raises our cor cortisol and adrenaline. The cortisol is the one that causes us to gain so much weight. Okay, so how do we manage it? Well we can limit some th things and smoking caffeine and alcohol i feel like a lot of times we look at these as coping mechanisms but really the smoking and the alcohol no i'm sorry uh the smoking and the caffeine can make our blood sugar and our blood pressure and our heart rate go up and so we feel worse right in the moment okay we feel worse the smoking and the alcohol, they increase the inflammation in our bodies, so in that way they make us feel worse. So, well, and also alcohol makes sleeping more challenging, so a lot of folks will drink because they think, oh, it helps me go to sleep, which is actually true. The problem is that once you get to sleep, you have really crappy quality of sleep. And this is what the, the science says. This is science not just one or two people saying it, many studies have been done and found this out. So alcohol can get us in trouble and of course, you know, especially when it gets really drastic and we start using it, you know, to kind of escape from our problems, then it can really become an issue, right? It increases the inflammation even more and it and it can start screwing up our lives in other ways, which then creates more stress, which is what we were trying to fix in the first place. So things that you can do that are self-nurturing. Eat healthy foods. 
they reduce the inflammation in our bodies and so they're reducing some of the stress in our bodies and they give us more vitamins, more ability to think well, more ability to fight disease, but this is about stress, not fighting disease, right? Um, have a variety of colors because that's going to help you get more vitamins because every different color has a different set of multivitamins or plant compounds. Um, exercise is really, really helpful. So like if you're super mad about something, you got in an argument with somebody and you just need to walk away, exercise is a great way to burn off that extra energy and emotion and deal with stress short term, but also um, exercise, I call it nature's Prozac, like if we're doing regular um, walking or swimming or not my favorite, but jogging, I just worry that it's hard on my knee, hard on folks' knees. Uh, I worked, I took care of veterans um, in my, in my prior life and I was always worried that, hey, basic training and maintenance was rough enough on the body. I'm always worried about knees and backs now. I'm set, obsessed with knees and backs. Um, so, but anything that you're doing that gets your heart rate up, re releases endorphins, feel good chemicals that help reduce that stress. Yoga and Tai Chi are really great too. Um, I think kind of in that package, I might put meditation as well. For all of those, it's about slowing down, taking some time for yourself, paying attention to what's going on in here and how you feel. Um, the yoga is getting into a position and holding that and then changing positions and, and holding that. Tai Chi is more slow, controlled movements, so it's good for your muscles, your flexibility, um, and again, stress. Uh, meditation, I'm going to talk more about that in another video, but um, meditation can be really helpful to just slow down, listen to your breath, take deep breaths, focus on how your body is feeling. Um, some of us, it helps to like imagine you're going someplace pretty. Uh, just think of the, your favorite place that you really enjoy being um, and focus on that. Or um, I used to have like birthday cards and stuff that were had like basically paintings on them. Um, on my desk and I would focus on that. Sometimes I would just focus on a color, which was another interesting thing I learned when I was looking around at stuff, that just focusing on a comforting color can help us fight some anxiety. Um, so then uh, prayer is another option as well. Some folks feel comfortable like reading the Bible and just really focusing on that kind of positive energy. Um, Positive self-talk is very important. Uh, I talked in a video earlier or a couple of days ago about sometimes we're hard on ourselves because we feel like we're not doing things as well as we would like to, but looking at the good things that we're doing because we're always doing good things. And that's very important. Even if you're screwing up over here, there are other things over here that you're doing a great job at. And finding those things, and so you can pat yourself on the back and give yourself credit for that is really, really important. It changes your conversation around in your head. Um, I find that sometimes if I've been really hard on myself, and it can be one comment sometimes, that I'll have to say like three good things about myself, and sometimes we have to start small. I said that one sentence to that one guy that helped him out, and then that makes me feel better, so I can find thing number two, and that makes me feel better, so I can find thing number three, and then maybe I've, I've erased enough of that negative energy to make myself feel better. Good sleep is super important. When we're stressed, we have a hard time sleeping, but if you can find ways to make sure that you're getting that good sleep, Giving yourself enough time to do it, that's very important. Sometimes that's the first thing we cut out. Oh, well, you know what? I've got this thing that I need to work on. I'll just get six hours sleep. It'll be fine. The problem is that the next day we can't think as well. Or we're more irritable. And so if you need that brain power the next day, the worst thing that you can do is not get good sleep. Okay? And finally, drink plenty of water. 
Um, it helps us think better. Sometimes we don't realize that we're getting kind of dehydrated. The water helps us think better and feel more energetic, but it also helps flush out toxins in our bodies that increase our stress level. Okay, so all of that's very important. Thank you so much for listening. Um, this is Adrienne the Turquoise Lady with Chicken and Life. Have a wonderful day.